Evening, a nice steamy Saturday in South Louisiana, and of course we're talking about the two things happening in the tropics. Again, neither of which is extremely threatening at this point for coastal Louisiana and pro probably into coastal Mississippi too, and both of them very disorganized at this point. So even though there are these two spots and their paths are kind of heading into the Gulf or already all sort of are in the Gulf. Um, we're not really looking at a whole lot of kind of impacts for New Orleans at this time and for the Louisiana coast, but we are going to go in detail with this. So let me just show you what's going on with these. Here is Fred remnants of Fred. It used to be a tropical storm. Now the center has been kind of placed backward a little bit from where it was earlier today because it's just a really messy low pressure center and area. So we do have a couple of areas of rain starting to ride around on the eastern edge, but look at this. There's almost nothing happening over really kind of on the north or on the western side of that very loose center of circulation. It really needs to tighten up before we have a good idea of exactly where it's going to make its eventual landfall along the northern Gulf Coast. But notice that the path, which did shift today over toward the Louisiana and Alabama, or excuse me, Mississippi, Alabama state line, it's now shifted back a little bit more uh, kind of in the central Alabama kind of Gulf Shores mobile area. And it will be interesting to see if this path continues to shift east because there is wind shear off to the west. There is some dry air off to the west as well in the Gulf, and we'll just see if it's able to really nudge farther to the west. Really, I think this path is going to continue probably getting pushed a little farther to the east back to where it was a few days ago. This is the forecast path you can see right now, and as of Tonight we do have some tropical storm watches, not for actual land areas, but just off the coast, really off to the southeast part of Louisiana and Mississippi and also south, especially of Alabama and Florida. So that's what we have as far as watches go right now. And then this is interesting to see where the tropical models are. Notice that they're all clustered east of where the National Hurricane Center center line is, which again is kind of right in this area. So again, we'll see how these continue to handle the low pressure center, whether it is de determined to be farther to the east once this starts to try to redevelop, which will probably happen sometime tomorrow, perhaps even early in the day. But again, you can see clearly that the cluster of models is farther to the east. So what would that leave Louisiana and Mississippi with? Maybe some kind of breezy to gusty winds late Monday, maybe some rain, but you can see that almost all the rain is displaced to the east. So any significant rain will be really closer to Florida, I think, with Fred. Now here is Grace. Grace's center was nudged to the north because it doesn't have a good center right now. So this path is a little different from earlier, but this one will likely change. And interesting to note, the National Hurricane Center even put because models have been all over the place with Grace. So even though this looks very concrete, straight into the Gulf, tropical storm, uh, the models are really, really just spread out all over the place and some of them have it staying really weak once it gets toward the Gulf. So the National Hurricane Center in their discussion has pointed out twice in the past, you know, uh, six to hours or so that this might dissipate before it even kind of becomes a problem. So we will have to watch Grace. Of course, anything this time of year heading toward the Gulf, we're going to be watching closely. You know that, uh, but we are seeing some indications that first of all, it has some dry air in this kind of general area. We will see how much it interacts with land. Now, unfortunately, you heard about Haiti's earthquake and it's sad to see that it looks like they will get some at least pretty heavy rain coming from grace in the next couple of days moving over Espanola and then maybe over or possibly just north of Cuba but there's going to be a lot of land interaction so we have a lot of factors with grace again even though that cone looks kind of uh, threatening for the Gulf at this point I would say we just kind of have to watch this one for a little longer because some things still need to fall into place to see what it's going to do this should make New Orleans feel better the heavy Heavy rain is displaced as it usually is, of course, off to the eastern side of wherever the center of Fred is. And actually, this is for the next seven days. So New Orleans, the Mississippi coast and the blues, that's up to a very standard summertime, one or two inches. Florida, you're going to have to watch if you are joining us from there uh, and over toward Alabama for a few heavier bands of rain with that. And just to give you an idea, this is the GFS model. 
will change. It's not set in stone as always. Take it with a grain of salt, but it's kind of bringing Fred over here toward the Florida panhandle, bringing it inland pretty quickly. And then here, by the way, is what the GFS is trying to do with grace. It keeps it way south has it heads in heading into Yucatan and the Bay of Campeche. So again, we'll watch grace. We will keep you updated. It wouldn't even be in the southeastern Gulf, though, if it gets there even if it doesn't dissipate uh, by the end of this week. So again, more updates coming. As for what's going on for us, our radar pretty quiet. Tonight we'll go with about a, a 10 or 20 percent chance for a coastal shower or two. And tomorrow we will increase the rain chance to about 50 percent. The storms we do see tomorrow afternoon popping up might be kind of slow movers, so we'll have to watch in case of a spotty downpour, maybe promoting a little street flooding here or there, maybe into Monday too. But note that our seven day forecast very standard, nothing really tropical in this forecast for us, aside from just some daily downpours and the humidity, of course. We'll keep you updated on the tropics as we move through the week. We're talking preseason football. Nichols LSU holding its first preseason game in Tiger Stadium. We have a recap of that scrimmage ahead. And both Pace.